welcome back to the channel. Иди, иди. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we decided to show you this beauty. It's our bake house or baking house. Uh, in Dutch it's called Bakhuis and Bakhuis. Uh, it's a very typical building for the old farms. It's it dates back to the time when the farms were self-maintained. So you could find it on uh, many farms here in Belgium, but mainly they are in very bad state uh, because they were neglected for many years. Everyone buys bread uh, in supermarkets right now, so they were neglected in bad state. And we were actually searching. It was a very nice to have for a farm, and we found it on this farm and it's the first time when we found it in such good condition A bakehouse generally consists of two parts and adjoining farm building We think that ours was built after the Second World War around the same time when the first floor was added to the farm and the second part, a bread oven itself situated behind the adjoining part Here is our bread oven on the way how it was built, we think that it dates back to the time when the farm was built, so it's more than 100 years old. Here I collected some examples of the typical bake houses. The materials used for building a bake house vary depending on what's originally available. It could be bricks, uh, natural stones, timber framing. The roofs are usually tiled to minimize the risks, risk of fire. Once again, yeah, it's a mess here. I'm sorry. It will take time to clean it up. Yeah, we still have the old tiles that we're gonna reuse, and we are storing them like this. It's not we who put them, this one's we, and these tiles are coming from this shed that uh, we will take all of them down, all these tiles, and they are very old. I guess they are even before the uh, Second World War, so it's like 70, 80, 90 years old. These are more new ones, and newer. I don't know when, but you can see here, looks better here. Somewhere in Belgium, they were made. And this is the oven itself. So you can see that the roof was removed, but it has a separate roof, the oven. It's not bad right now for the oven because it's covered and it's not being uh, yeah, destroyed by uh, the rains. Uh, here the oven itself you can see how they put a clay or clay mortar on top it's something I guess around 10 centimeters it's really a specific one so something around 10 centimeters like see here very thick so it could actually hold the heat for a long period of time This is the floor. We have a concrete floor. Uh, many, uh, in many cases, it's just a uh, soil. No. They used, I guess, uh, the previous owners used it as a, uh, yeah, some uh, workshop. It has also their attic so-called attic it's already so many flies here <laughs> it's very good condition <laughs> kids decided that they will use uh, this building to play hide and seek game they love it here is some ventilation I don't know why. Let's, yeah. Let's 
it's very simple. But very nice in its simplicity. Old shelves, wooden shelves. that this oven was, uh, this adjoining building was built afterwards because here you can see clearly the structure, uh, the line of the previous building here. Even here it's, uh, yeah, the level is going to, uh, it's not very straight. One week. They tried uh, to build the adjoining building in a straight, yeah, in the right shape, so that's why I guess it's a bit not correct, the levels we Oh, it has so many ashes, we need to clean it and I'll do it right now, but it's like, I don't know how much time it will take. Let me do it quick. Like this. Check it out. My God, it's so dirty. But you see the egg form of this, of it. On top, you can see the bricks, how they lay them. Um, so what are the, our plans for this building? I don't know. <laughs> Right now we want to focus on the main building, so we just want to left, leave it as it is because it's in good condition. The roof is not leaking. It's yeah, it's very good. So for sure, we want to restore the uh, bread oven and use it to bake pizzas, maybe bread eating. Uh, uh, but for the rest, for the rest of the building, I I don't know. Maybe our summer kitchen, maybe some uh, I don't know. Maybe a summer kitchen. It's a good idea. I guess. Let's give it a try. Ah, success. <laughs> but you can try like this, yeah? <laughs> no.
Alles stupid stuff. Ich schau hier. Also, <lacht> Take you with us. Ouch. Come and do water. Oh. And this is the pile of branches and the mud that we removed from the front yard. We leave it like here, we will cover it, cover it with plastic so it will just bottom and we'll use it afterwards for also our land. Yeah. And look at these beauties. Wow. Ah, it's so beautiful. Put you inside. Uh, because I'm too deep. No, maybe at some point of time I'll be that desperate. Okay. surprises.
Okay, let's give it a try. So yeah, we came well prepared and we forgot to take matches with us. So we have here some two or three, <laughs> so we should be very lucky. <laughs> so <laughs> let's hope for the first. I just want to show you the chimney is over here so you can see all the smoke goes up so cool Ilya succeeded from the first attempt. It's really like, let's celebrate it today. <laughs> Why no, not? I, I use the cheat. Okay. Wow, it's so really cool. Let's check this. It's good. Oh. this uh, bake house and the oven is just in yeah in very good condition so you don't have to repair to let it burn of course we need to uh, renew the clay on top of the oven itself because it needs to be thicker like 10 centimeters or more and you you have seen that it had holes but it's still it's like no holes that are through the surface and the wood itself Chimney is good, everything is good, it's just really a present. We should be. We are lucky. 